Sean. John. Dunnigan. The Patterson piece, where is it? It's on your desk. What's this? My journal. Not much there. I've been trying to fill it for the better part of a week with something that will work for my book. Did you get the Ben Wade assignment? Yes, but what can I possibly say that every tabloid in America hasn't already said? Wealthy oil tycoon goes missing looking for ancient treasure. It's old news. Yes, but none of those other reporters had a personal invitation from Wade's niece, Veronica, asking for them to join her in finding the crash site. It sounds dangerous. I'm not a field reporter. I'm not a clues guy. That's something my dad would have done. Look, Sean, taking this assignment doesn't mean you're living in your father's shadow. He was a good writer, but you have the potential to be great. I don't know. I'm a simple guy. Clearly, I have nothing to write about. That's exactly why you should go. You want to write stories like your father wrote? You've got to live adventures like your father lived. The pen's in your hand. Your piece on the abuse of crude oil was phenomenal. Thank you, Miss Wade. I'm happy to be here. My Uncle Ben is going to be so excited to meet you. He was a huge fan of your father's work. How? His plane crashed. <laughs> Uncle Ben has survived much worse than that, believe me. Quinn, this is Sean Douglas Dunnigan. He's the reporter I was telling you about. He's going to be writing our story. You're a writer, huh? I hope you can keep up. You gotta get going now, Miss Wade. Thank you, Quinn. Don't worry. Everything has been well thought out. So your uncle was looking for an ancient artifact? Mm, medallion, actually. He had just found the second half of it a couple weeks before his plane went down. He already had half? Mm-hmm. Back in 78, he bought it off the black market while he was abroad. It was his obsession ever since. And you expect us to find it? Well, naturally. That's why we're going. How? We find the plane, we find the man. We find the man, we find the medallion. We find the medallion, and there's your story. the Valdivian forest. It's home of the Mapuche people and they don't take kindly to visitors. You ever seen combat? Me? No. Any backcountry travel? Camping. What about survival training? Does Cub Scouts count? No. Don't worry, Quinn takes some getting used to. Yeah, I'll bet. So, uh, how long you been married, Sean? I'm not. The GPS coordinates for the plane end here. Look around, see if you see any wreckage. You gotta find anything out here. Damn, France. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a wing. Part of it. You think it's bent? Yeah. Where's the rest of it? 
Keep your eyes peeled. You know, I'm surprised, Sean. For someone who writes such amazing stories, you've never actually been anywhere. My father traveled. He was a field journalist. And I guess my desire to follow in his footsteps died when he did. It must have been hard to lose your hero. Yeah, people have this idealistic picture of what death looks like. I don't quite understand what it does to the people left behind. I found his footprints. But he's being followed by the Mapuche. They continue up this way right here. We should get going. place. No. Ben. <laughs> he actually found it. I'm glad you found your story, Ben. Sorry, Miss Wade. It's not safe here. We need to go. Give it to me. What are you doing? Don't be crazy. This is how you write your own story. Nobody's going to be writing a story if we don't get out of here. Shut up. Stop it. And you, get on the ground now. What? I know you have the other one. No. Get on the ground no. now. Come here.
The other half of the medallion, where is it? Please. Give it to me now! Foxtrot to Eagle's Nest. Copy, Foxtrot. This is Eagle's Nest. Gonna need an extraction. Roger that. How many? Just one. Veronica! This time I'll make sure you're dead. Leave him alone, Quinn. What are you doing? Think about this. Quinn! It's all yours. Oh, it's just a graze. I'll be all right. Are you okay? I'm sorry, Sean. I never should have asked you to come. It was my choice. You're gonna be okay, Veronica. Come on, let's get out of here. Thanks, Chief. Now get your work done. I expect the Johnson piece finished and on my desk by tomorrow morning. 